Happy New Year! Welcome to 2022. Well, I hate to be a Debbie Downer, but let's talk about what I did two days before today, which is I cleaned my house. We're wasting time. <laughs> Hello hotties, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. I'm Allie Mack and I'm currently a seventh grade math teacher. You know why you're here. Go ahead and click the subscribe button, ring the notification bell so you don't miss any other videos from me. Do it now please. New Year's Eve is one of my favorite holidays. It is like an amazing way to get yourself ready to reflect and figure out who you are as a person. What are the things that you're good at? What are the things you need work on? And this is the opportunity to better yourself. So my new year's resolution is going to continue to take care of myself, show myself self love, and I'm adding on the element of sticking up for myself. And I am a very nice person. However, I'm not being very nice to myself because I will go out of my way to help someone out and then it ends up hurting me. So. I'm not doing that anymore. Also, I'm not going to make any big decisions until I have thought about it for 24 hours. I think that's a good one, right? So feel free to comment down anything you are excited about or what you want to do to improve yourself, to upgrade yourself. Let me talk about some things that went well for me in the year 2021. My husband got his bachelor's degree in political science. My daughter got her first job. Everybody is vaccinated. I'm going through this dyslexia training, so I feel like it's making me, it'll make me recognize when a kid is struggling with dyslexia and what I can do to help them. I learned the importance of explicit, ex explicit instruction. That's always good. Also, I told you that I'm trying to learn sign language, so I'm really excited about that. And I'm working on a video, um, but I need to learn a few more signs before I do. I know this means help. I think this means help. And I believe if you put your arms out with it, that means I'm gonna help you. But if you do this and pull it in, it's like I need your help. I'm sure there's way more other things that I did well, but I just can't think of them right now. Now, the things that I regret, I regret letting people make decisions for what's best for my classroom. I regret not knowing everything because it's like with students, you'll try a strategy that worked beautifully the year before and it won't work on them. So you got to come up with another one and then another one and another one. And the way the pacing is, it's like, it's impossible for these children to master these standards in this little bit amount of time. I remember when I was a child and we were learning say our multiplication facts. I remember we rewrote practice, 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 and I didn't know a single child that didn't know their multiplication facts when I was a kid. Like when you were in high school, people just knew their multiplication facts. So if you didn't know anything, you at least knew that, right? But the kids are struggling, and I think it's because maybe we're not spending enough, enough time on things. And like cursive writing, and I might be aging myself, I did just turn 40. The teacher would put on her little cassette tape player she would put on classical music or whatever the holiday music is or whatever she would give us a new letter to write and we would just practice writing cursive practice practice we did that for a whole hour it seemed like i just feel like drill and repetition is a strategy that they're saying that that that's no bueno that's no good but i feel like Repetition is the key to learning anything. I mean, what do people do when they're trying to get stronger? They lift those weights and they do the repetition. So I think I'm going to do more repetition with my students. So anyway, there's that little reflection. Now, my house has been just looming over me and I've been planning on cleaning it. As a rule, I always clean my house right before the new year because it's like you start fresh. But when your house everything is just crazy in your house. I found that I did okay when I took every room and I said, I'm only gonna spend 15 minutes in this room. So I cleaned for 15 minutes and moved on. The only room that I cheated a little bit was the kitchen because you know, kitchens have a lot of little areas that you need to clean. But if you're struggling getting up and cleaning, set your timer for 15 minutes and then stop. 
And then if your house is like a disaster like mine was, go to another room, clean for 15 minutes and stop. Hey y'all, I am sitting around playing a new game of Sims, procrastinating, watching Survivor season 23. And I am trying to get my house clean because I love starting the new year with a clean house. And I've been saying I'm gonna do this for days now, but I keep finding other little things to do. So I have decided I am going to get up off my rear end and I'm going to spend 15 minutes in each room that I want clean. And after that's up, I'm done and it'll just have to be okay. Let's see if I can do this. So, 15 minutes to clean the kitchen. Wish me luck. I was yours for the taking. Guess I needed a home. But if I'm not mistaken, you were good on your own. So that's the timer, but I think we should do this for 15 more minutes because the kitchen is such an important thing. I think I have time to show you a very quick tutorial. I was doing dishes the fast way, but let me show you the way I like to do them. Okay, so first things first, to make sure your sinks are completely cleaned out, completely, spotless, okay? So that's the first thing we do. So it's nice and clean because we're gonna be putting our soon to be clean dishes in here. Okay, so you're gonna fill up both sinks both of them with warm water. Almost so hot you can't stand it. Almost can't stand it, okay? So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Just so the purpose of this sink 
this one on this side is to wash the dishes, soak the dishes, do all that stuff with the dishes. This side is going to be the sanitary side. So we are going to fill this up with hot water and then add vinegar. We're going to wash, 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 vinegar, rinse, uh, uh, dry. And if you see this one needs to be rewashed, bring it back. So two sinks. This one with soapy water. We add some of my favorite soap. Whoop, there we go. And I also have some in this little doodad. So get this nice, hot, and soapy. And in fact, I might go ahead and start adding this to it. Why not? That will be fun. And then it'll make sure that I can empty out any cups I have. You know. So whew, the best thing to do though is to make sure the dishes you put in initially are not that dirty. So do the really dirty ones last and why can't I open this thing? I like it. Okay. And well, if you didn't know this, do not have a dishwasher. So usually my children have a dishwasher and the time is still to be so let's get these things in here. Not that much to do as far as dishes go. This is also a very handy thing if you wash all your dishes by hand. So my little thing down there. to keep it at about 15 minutes and I guess for the kitchen 30 because people have to cook in here and all that good stuff. So let me hush and get to it. Got your love on my back. You said he making me laugh. For that, I gotta thank the Lord above us because make me smile when my world look great. Well, I thought the sink was done doing this. Every time we wash clothes, the sink fills up with water. So I thought it only did it once. But apparently it does it twice. So, new plan. I'm not going to be able to get these dishes washed in six minutes. And now all the dishes I put in the sink are contaminated. So, I'm gonna fill up both sinks with bleach water and let them sit. And then I'll let my children clean them when they do dishes tonight. But I did try and I've got six minutes left. Thank you. but I would rather have done that than, you know, kitchen's always tough. <laughs> On to the next room. Okay, as you can tell by the noise, I am in the laundry room. This room is the catch-all. It's the first place we come in and take our shoes off and all this stuff. So therefore, it is dirty. And this time, I'm only gonna spend 15 minutes in here because the goal was to just knock the top layer off and get things clean. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> She's swanning. Hey, hey. Okay. Anyway, so 15 minutes on the clock. Here we go.
I guess I'm moving on to the dining room. Or we don't really use it as a dining room, but the dining room, uh, more or less. Drama, drama. Hey, I'm starring in this drama, drama. I now have just enough time to take all the garbage. Go me. So come fall in love with me. Cause I know we're supposed to be. Let's go home to bed now. It's more than just a game for two. It's me for me and you. I stay in your head now. Until you're mine. So that was my last room to clean. I managed to get my entire small 1500 square foot house clean in one afternoon. So, go Now, is my house perfect? No, it's not, but that's okay. All right, you guys, I got everything done, except for the laundry. That's gonna be for tomorrow. My reward today was to do my nails and to put on my brand new pajama pants that my husband bought me for my birthday. So, watching Survivor still, and I got everything done. Go me. I knocked the top layer off, and if I plan on spending 15 minutes in a room every day, I can make it even better. Or I can do this again one more time with it how it is to make it a little bit better. My point is, is that if you feel depressed, you don't want to be in a messy house. It's like when your house is clean, it makes everything better. You know what I mean? I think you do. All right, that is it for this video. If you found it helpful, informative, or even entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe. Comment below the broom emoji. And as always, you all have the best day ever. And I will see you in my next video. And until then, y'all have an amazing new year. Bye-bye.